Hello. I was thinking about ChatGPT, uh, well, quite a bit in the past week because it's all over my YouTube feed of videos for some reason. And I watched one video where the person could ask ChatGPT to do something in Excel and it told the person which formula to use on his Excel. And it took the thinking out of the task. And on the face of it, that's very good. And I'm sure it's going to help a lot of people out. Um, although in his example, something did go a little wrong. Um, so you still got to pay attention to what it's telling you the answer is. But it's pretty good because rather than you having to engage your brain, you can it will take you 90% of the way towards the answer and you can work out the rest, it's pretty good. And it's only going to get better from there, I'm sure. And then this week I was using Power Automate, which is a Microsoft um, way of moving data from place to place. And I was having trouble with it. And as always, I go on to the search engine and I type in what I'm having trouble with and then articles come up where someone asks on a message board how do I solve this problem and then there's a top answer that's typically a good answer uh, but today the top answer while it's useful for maybe 90% of people with what I was trying to do the answer wasn't any good and it got me thinking that I needed to use something called try catch finally, which is something you get in several computer languages. And I tried looking for help on that. And instead of try catch finally, there was a feature called scope, which is pretty much the same thing. I used that and I got around the problem. And uh, I've found Power Automate very unintuitive several times. For instance, it seems very often that it's offering you all the options available of what you can um, add in to the step-by-step -step program you're building. But it turns out that some of the essentials you need to start typing before they'll be on offer for you. So it's, it's unintuitive because it acts as if it's offering you all the choices when it isn't. And uh, it's not my favorite software at all. I, quite critical of it but I was very pleased with myself by googling a bit here and googling a bit there got the answer and it worked and very pleased with myself and then I started thinking about the chat GPT and I thought what if you could ask chat GPT to solve it all for you you tell it I want you to do this I want you to do that and think it already exists but it it will have a go at it or Microsoft has its own kind of um, help sort of intelligent chat thing that tries to do it all for you but either way I was thinking I will miss out on the pleasure of solving what for me is a very difficult problem other people I'm sure they're very good can solve IT problems a lot quicker than me Hmm, had a video problem there. Anyway, I don't want the pleasure of solving a problem taken away from me by AI. And it made me think of a TV series from years ago called Monkey. And uh, the monkey god tries to help a man out by um, making a hole for a mountain. And it's this man's life's work to try to build this tunnel all the way through the mountain. A monkey tries to help him out and just does it for him in about 30 seconds. And the man is absolutely furious. He's furious because that was his life's challenge. That was what gave him meaning. And it's all been done for him now. And I can't help but wonder if people are going to miss out on the it's not exactly fun uh, when you've got a problem and most of the time you can't solve it and it, 
it's kind of borderline headache. I wouldn't call it fun exactly, but when you solve it and you feel like you've solved it against the odds, it's a fantastic feeling. And I don't think it's necessarily a good thing that people are going to have this AI just beside them and able to solve these problems for them. That's what this video is about.